So for me, it was a dream come true to become a Jordan brand client. When you think about, you know, the era that we grew up in, like all of the kids right now love LeBron, they love Steph, they love KD. But for us, the guy that everyone loved was Jordan. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Just find money in your shoes. So yeah, these these were another exclusive pair. Um, it took me a little while to get these because I, w I actually got these before I was a Jordan brand client, and they was a, they were extremely rare. Um, they still are. A lot of guys are still trying to get these, but like I said, I got mine. Had to pay a little extra money for them, but it was definitely worth it. I'm a huge Jordan fanatic. I I mean, if I showed you some of the things that I actually collected over the years from a Jordan brand standpoint, you would probably think that I was kind of crazy. But a lot of people don't know the story about how this, my contract actually came about. We were at a Hornets game and um, it was me, MJ, Coach Rivera. And, you know, I was gonna meet with MJ and you know, kind of talk to him about joining Jordan brand. But then my agent stepped in, Coach Rivera, he was like, Hey, he want to be a part of Jordan Brand. How how can he make that happen? And that was really how the introduction really started, and how I became a Jordan Brand client from my agent, Coach Rivera. Shout out to Coach Rivera. If I had to come up with one particular design um, and kind of make it my own, it would probably be the Retro 11 because I feel like there is a lot that you can do with those cleats, and it's probably one of the most historical pairs of Jordans when you think about it. Um, I have a few pair of the 11 lows right here, but it would definitely be a mid top 11. And you know, like I said, the possibilities are, are limitless when you have this cleat. I mean, it really starts with the patent leather. I think that's the one thing that really allows you to identify what, what the shoe is and what it's all about. Whenever you see that patent leather, you know that it's on an 11. Like 800 pairs of these were made. So I have mine. Better get yours. But then they did it up real nice to make sure that for the guys like myself that were not intending to wear these, that we're just gonna keep them on the shelf. You got a nice little display for them. So this right here is a, is a pair of Dornbreckers and I, I absolutely love the fact that Jordan Brand and Nike um, they both combine to allow kids to create the designs for shoes. Um, a lot of the kids are um, kids that, that are dealing with um, real bad sicknesses and they're going through a lot in their lives and you know they allow them to create the shoe and all of the proceeds that, that are raised from set the sale of these shoes goes directly back to those kids. Um, charities or whatever they're, they're tied to a lot of kids, a lot, most of them um, are dealing with cancer and um, that money goes back to cancer research so it definitely these are definitely some of my favorites to own are the Dornbeckers. Um, for me to be able to go out and represent the brand on the field I mean truly a dream come true.